and we are back. We are back. Oh boy. All right. So you're probably wondering, what does this console exist? Of course, it does. It does exist. So uh, uh, it's called. Uh, I thought that this said maybe fuck, maybe fuck, but apparently it's maybe tech. But could you blame me? I'll show you how it looks. Th there we go. Could you, could you, on, feck, maybe feck, <laughs> maybe tech, I mean, could, oh, seriously, could you blame me, could you blame me, look at that, it says, maybe feck, <laughs> uh, uh, first of all, I do not have the ping pong paddle, I sure don't have the fucking ping pong paddle, but, uh, uh, I, I do have the PS2 looking controllers, but, uh, Ping pong paddle, huh? A fucking ping pong battle. All right, you know. Hmm. Maybe fuck. Honestly, I'm I, I'm having a hard time like just looking at what what the fuck this is. But uh, wow. Oh boy. We're actually gonna, we're not gonna start right now with uh, this console, but we're actually gonna start with some of the games we have. And the first game we're gonna try out is uh, this. Hang on. Now this, this, uh, let's see, uh, I can find a link to this. No, I can't, but, but I found something totally unrelated on, on, uh, on uh, Google. Uh, I'm sorry, what is this? Little Plucky's Ninja pr pro protects... Man, look at Shredder, he's drunk as shit. And, like, Raphael's got, like, dog eyes. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, what? Okay then. Hang on. I, I'm I'm gonna see if I can find you how this looks. Now I I, I you, as you know I never I never webcam and I don't ever show shit. But if I did have a webcam right now I could show you how this looks. But I have uh, a cartridge called Ninja Cat and it's uh, what's that character called? Uh, Ratchet and Clank. I I think on it. It's it, it's it's weird. Hang on. Man, that's the problem with bootlegs. There's never a reference on Google where you can, like... Hang on. That, that's one way to show teeth. Looks like he got a, got a dental plan and his, his, his surgeon is called Shotgun. 12-gauge dentist. Wow, what is what is going on? What, 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 why do they treat Raphael like this? Like, it's just... Raphael. Bootleg zones. That's my zone. I like I like bootleg zone and I like cal zone. You know, it's <laughs> um, let's see if I can find this. I can't seem to find it, but all right. So, could you fucking believe this? But we actually played this for Softcore Sunday. I'm not even making this up. It's uh, this is the closest we'll get to it. It's called Ninja Cats. This mine doesn't look like this, but. Uh, yeah, Ninja. <laughs> it's Samurai Pizza Cats that they bootlegged. Uh, we played this for uh, Softcore Sunday, actually. So it's not gonna be something new. It's not gonna gonna be something new, but it's gonna be uh, interesting to play, and I'm gonna give it a try. And it, this is all real stuff. It's not emulated. It, this is real cartridges and. We're gonna take a good look at these fine games. Yeah? Fine games. I say that with... A, a, go, what is that? A Googleplex. Is it a Googleplex? That's like... It takes like a month to actually count the actual numbers, even with a calculator, because it's like... It, it's so long. It's a Googleplex with, with quotation marks. Anyway, uh, let's put this on screen so you can see how good this is. Let's just turn Battletoads off. That's one thing you should never say to me. Turn Battletoads off. Alright, can you hear this? Yeah, I think you guys can hear this. So here it is. Ninja Cat. Ninja Cats. Oh, baby. The real deal. The real deal. Alright, let's try it out. I gotta reset this too. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Alright, alright, uh... 
So we got Ninja Cat. Ninja Cat 2. Ninja Cat 3. Ninja Cat 4. <laughs> Ninja Cat 5. Ninja Cat 6. Ninja Cat 7. Ninja Cat 8. And the always popular Ninja Cat 9. Yes. We once played this on Softcore Sunday. Now it's here, it's real, and good lord. Well, I should, guess I should be happy. There's some closure to this. I don't know. Anyway, this is going to be widescreen, which is a little bit awkward because, uh, well, it, it's not really widescreen. It's, it's, it's odd. It's odd, man. Uh, anyway, I can fix this a little bit. I just have to play this, this awful aspect ratio then. Fuck it. Uh, Ninja Cat. <laughs> Man, you hear that swinging, swinging, man? Ooh. You know, it's kind of funny that that a Chinese bootlegger would bootleg something Japanese, because uh, you know, you Chinese or Japanese. So this is Samurai Pizza Cats. We played this one before. It's it's a pretty good game, actually. What I don't understand, though, is, is uh, how exactly is uh, this, like, a ninja cat? It's, it's samurais and ninjas? I don't know, it's close enough, I guess. Let's get up here. Yeah! Well, it's from the real, real, uh, real thing. It's uh, samurai pizza cats. There's really nothing else to it. It's a great game. I, I played this for uh, um, Software Sunday, as I said, and it's, it's surprisingly a really good game. It's uh, it's tight. Now, if you're probably wondering why this is uh, sounding a little slower than usual, it's probably because this is a European console I'm playing it on, and uh, well, our games run slower, man. They run slower. Oh, damn it. Alright, so the beauty with these these things is that uh, you can get different characters, right? And you gotta have all the characters in order to play the game. So check this out. This is the flying fucker. And I mean, I'm drawing. There we go. Awesome. And I have something called Ninpo, which allows you to do shit like this. Hail Satan. Alright. So this is Samurai. Uh, Pizza Cats, you all know this, but the beauty of this is that the bootlegger said, Alright, none of us have the patience to do this. But let's just make a level select, right? So we can just do this. Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. It's, it's, it's great. I said this before, but this wheel looks like he has a giant dick. <laughs> Ninja power, Ninpo. So, uh, you can skip to the ending if you want. Now, the funny thing here, too, is, uh... This ending is a little bit glitched. From my understanding is that when you kill this last boss, the game thinks you're at level 1 again. Which... You know... Great. So really, if you beat the game, it really just resets to level 1 again, which... Will I have the patience to do that? Uh, well, I guess so. <laughs> now, I've said this during Softcore Sunday, but did you guys grow up with Samurai Pizza Cats? I did not have Samurai Pizza Cats this week. I would have loved the shit out of this if I... If we had this. I like Sport Cats. Probably like this, too. But... There is no pizza in this, at all. You know why they call it Samurai Pizza Cats? I said this again on the other stream, but... It's because the fucking Ninja Turtles. What are kids like? Oh, those, those Ninja Turtles, right? Well, we just have Samurai Cats that are into pizza too! That's right! <laughs> so it's really... I, I mean, hey, you might correct me. Did the show have a lot of pizza? 
Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll ask somebody that actually knows right now. All right, hang on. I will ask somebody right now that's in my room. Hang on. Oh, so they had pizza. So I am, I am wrong. I am wrong. They did have pizzas. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. Pizza was their job. Well, it had pizza. In it. Well, I guess I'm fucking wrong. I guess I'm fucking wrong then. I, uh, I'm talking bullshit. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm factually wrong about my pizza cats. Pizza cats. I don't know. I guess what, what, what is. <laughs> What is more? What is more weird, uh, Ninja Turtles or or Pizza Cats? I, I think I think uh, Turtles themselves are are more weird. I don't know. All right, good. We got that. We really should be running with this guy right now. I only need him for that little part. Let's see. Uh, where, where where am I? There we go. So. Whoa. Oh. Whoop. Whoop. I'm usually wrong about these things. You know what they really should have called this? And again, I'm not no designer, but Samurai Sushi Cats. Wouldn't that be more fitting? I don't fucking know. Well, the point is to get this thing, but I want that ninpo man. I actually had a cat that liked pizza. He liked pizza and Cheetos. It was the most human cat I I've ever. Uh... Whoa! This is the big bad at the end. He's he's like a Mexican uh, folk singer. He's like one of those uh, mariachi band members, I guess. Oh, that's racist. Oh, I'm uh, okay. So, so so Eastern Japanese cuisine is bad to put in your cartoons. I come on, man. What the fuck would the Swedish equivalent be? So you got like, you know, samurai sushi cats, and like Sweden would have like Swedish meatball moose men. Oh boy, I can't wait to watch that. <laughs> That's my face, always. All right, let's switch with the best nimple guy. I think where's he at? I think it's this guy. He, he just obliterates shit. This. If I could hit him! Okay, I don't think that's the best guy. Maybe this guy. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. Oh god, I'm out of nimple, man. My ninja power is gone. Uh, I need Pizza Hut stat. What was that corporate thing that th there was some pizza company in America that that had this like annoying bunny looking thing? God, what was it called? He had this on NES game too. God. Uh... All right, I'm just gonna go with with this guy again. Oh, I'm back here. Okay. Oh, he, his whole thing was like he stole people's pizzas. Like what? What a great, what a great corporate thing, right? Like our mascot will be something awful. The Noid. Yeah, the Noid. Why was this thing a thing again? Like, oh, we will make our corporate <laughs> identity something you want to avoid. The Noid. It's... Yeah, I'd like to see that brainstorming meeting. Alright, alright. Wilson! We need a corporate image! But sir, I'm an idiot! We have no time, Wilson! Fart out imagination. I don't know, man. Pizza Hut. Was it Pizza Hut or Domino's? It was Domino's mascot, right? Gotcha. So weird. It's like tricks the rabbit. <laughs> pizza, man. It's always pizza. And if I if I made my own mascot, I I I do something worse, man. I just make brain diarrhea. Nobody would want my ideas. 
fact, you know what? Even worse. If I ever made like superheroes, you know, Mar Marvel. If you're if you're hiring, uh, you know, do contact me. I'll, I'll make uh, like I don't know, like a I'll, I'll make a comic about a a a, um, a platypus. No, I'll make a, I'll make a fucking comic. I'll make a comic about the platypus. I'll make a comic about how a beaver walks into a nuclear facility. And, and, coincidentally, a duck crashes through the window, and they metamorphosize in a nuclear reactor core, and, and uh, the b abomination of nature is born, the platypus. Fuck the platypus. Honestly, honestly, honestly. Good God, look at this. This has to be the worst creature ever made. Like, it just looks so... weird! Like, what, what is this? Is it a duck? Is it a beaver? W w explain. I demand explanation here. This thing looks like it's born out of some mutation freak accident. It just... Ah, uh, it doesn't click right at all for me. The platypus. The platypus. Come on. Like, power platypus. There you go. Alright, is this the guy that has best attack? I don't think so. He sucks, I'm getting my, my fucking ass handed to me. That's what I like about Earthbound, you got your ass handed to you. I think this is the best guy. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no more, huh? This is a show I would enjoy, if I knew more about it. That sort of show that, that, it seems like a very forgotten show, that this is a very, uh, small fan base. Like, only a few people remember it. I don't know, you, you might have to correct me on that, but... Alright. I just wanna beat this guy and get the ending, that's it. I need more Nin power. Nintendo power, motherfucker. Alright, come on. Oh man, come on! Ah! Had enough about you. One more heart. I'm so close though, come on! Aw, oh, man. <laughs> One more try. I do want to beat this, even though we already beat it. Uh, I just want to demonstrate how stupid the fact that this this bootleg doesn't show the ending because it just resets the, uh, the menu screen. Might have to actually check that, if it's true. You need the flying guy, like, once in this game, apparently. <laughs> and that's the part. Alright. You know what this game reminds me a little bit of? Magical Goemon. If you ever play that on the N64, then, then you know what I'm talking about. That game was great. Magical Goemon starring, uh... Or, the n Magical Ninja starring Goemon, or something like that. Fun fact about that, I, uh... I actually played that at, at a friend's house, because, uh... It was his birthday, and I hated this kid, and I only wanted to play Magical Goemon on this N64. And I remember we all took turns, right, playing the N64, and I actually this 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 story ends in tears. It's ridiculous, but mystical, not magical. Okay, I'm sorry, Mystical Goemon. So we all took turns at this kid's N64, and he actually gave us numbers. And I was like the last number, because this kid did not like me. He only invited me for the sole purpose of having more kids at his party. Which is... just fuck that kid. Anyway, uh... So we all take turns at, uh, <laughs> You know, playing in his game. I go last. Yeah, I go last. And, get this, when I'm... It's my turn to play, because I really like this game. He says, alright guys, it's time to head out. And I go, w wait a minute, I want to play the game. He's like, nah, I'm not interested anymore. Like, what are you talking about? Like, now nah, I wanna go outside, everybody's like, yeah, let's go outside! Even though they've had their turn, I haven't. And... And I'm so angry, because I hate this kid. The only reason I went to his birthday party was to play Magical or Mystical Goemon. And... Get this! I hold back the tears. Because I, I, I'm just getting... I'm so mad, I'm actually crying. That was the whole, the whole night ruined, whole fucking day ruined. So, uh, basically, uh, 
what I do, I, I, I wait for everybody to leave. And go outside. You know what I do? I stay in this room. They go outside, and I just stay in a sound house and play as N64 all day. And then his, then his mom catches me, I'm just like, what are, you, what are you doing here? I'm just like, uh... Uh... Uh, I, I, I forgot who... Uh, uh, bye. <laughs> Fuck that kid. Same kid. Same kid that years later would fucking... Would, uh, strike up a conversation with me in high school and go, You still like those video games, Joel? I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> video games. <laughs> Get laid, Joel. I'm just like, what, what? I don't know, man. It's, it's, uh, fuck that guy. But anyway, that's the ending of this, this, uh, you know, Ninja Cat bullshit. You know, Samurai Pizza Cats, but, uh, there you go. That's the ending. It registers the game as beaten, even though there's more. Or, actually, uh, let me reiterate that. I've beaten the game, but it resets to level one. So this is like the first level select screen, even though we've beaten it. But I just want to confirm that it's true, because that's apparently a little rumor, but... Let's see. This music is great. Alright, Samurai... Pizza... Cats. NES ending. Alright, let's see. Let's see if this is true, that this is the ending I want. Maybe there's more, maybe there's more. Let's see. Oh, okay. Skim through this real quick. So you got this and that. Yeah. No, I think that's the last boss. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, they, they... It's unbeatable. If you do the level select screen, it's unbeatable. When it's supposed to trigger the last boss, it just goes back to level... What a fucking bitch. Wow. Oh, that's just that's just terrible, man. That's just fuck off. <laughs> well, there you go, Samurai Pizza Cats. What a what a fantastic game. Anyway, uh, well, get laid, Joel. Play don't play video games. You wanna wanna you know, put your genitals in another person's genitals. I guess, I guess that goes both ways depending on on what kind of street you're rolling, but, uh, anyway, uh, let's stretch games to, uh, the next, uh, um, uh, great game. Because they're all good. It's sort of like when you're in, in, in school, and you all get complimented that says, uh, you know, each one of you are, are winners. None of you are failures. But you know deep down that some people are failures, and they, the only good thing they'll be in life is like a bearded lady or like a a clown that's an alcoholic. I don't know, man. Anyway, I'll be right back. Let me just pop in this this next game, because... Put your generals in another person's generals. Yeah, that's another, that's another quote to put on my gravestone. Know that when I'm dead. Anyway, be right back. Enjoy more of this great music. In town, 1996. Alright. So here's another one that's called King Series... Super 8 in 1. It wasn't Super 8 a movie. I don't know. I have no I have no I have no movie reference. So right off the bat, what do we have here? We have Flintstones. We have Flintstones, Mario 12, Dindon, Tetris 2, Adventure Island. 90 tank, Popeye, and Ka or Sky the, the story. That's words. That's words. Alright. How about we try Sky Destroyer? Yeah, there, there you go. Ah. Uh, I, I figured. You little shit. So it's just regular old Sky Destroyer. It's uh, loud as shit and uh, lovely. Now this is this is like the the uh, the story is the opposite of story. Well, there's a story about this plane that uh, shoots down other planes and he uh, crashed down in the sea because he was fucking drunk. 
Wow, it's almost like, you know, English isn't their first language. Who would have thunk it? Wow. Alright. There we go. Nope. Nah. You know, it's sort of like Afterburner in a way. It's definitely better than Top Gun and all those, like, simulator games that are on the NES. You know what, though? I need to clean my plane anyway. Fuck this. There you go. You know what? <laughs> you, you can die even when it's like a happy little jingle at the start. Well, English isn't my first language, so I guess th there is no uh, excuse here. Pussy, I mean, I mean, Sky Destroyer. Yeah. Pearl Harbor, the game. All right, so let's let's move on and see what else we can find. That's gonna be a good one. All right, so that's that. This is Flintstones. Yes, Flintstones. Could you fucking believe it? Now I wonder if it's gonna be Granddad or not. Well, I actually know the answer, and it's very disappointing. Guess what? It's not. It's not Granddad. And it's slow as shit. Man, I, I, I miss Granddad. I miss Granddad. I can't believe I'm seeing it, but I actually miss that, that creepy strangle murderer, man. Come back in my life, Granddad. Come back. Granddad, he'll shove your body in a lake. Granddad, he's my granddad. He'll kill you and set your dog on fire. Set your dog on. Set your dog on fire. All right, so it's just, it's just regular old Flintstones. There's nothing real different, and I, I do miss the Mario bootleg games. Cause, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just noticed something. Is the bootleg version of this I granddad a different level than this? I think so, actually. Holy shit. Alright, so let me just smash and ruin uh, history here. It's kind of odd that I'm beating dinosaurs. Isn't, like, dinosaurs mankind's friend in the Flintstones? I don't know. Wait, wait a minute. This is kind of dark. I'm actually going to zoom in for you guys a little bit more, because there's a weird aspect ratio here that can be fixed. I think this looks a little bit better for you guys, yeah? Yeah, alright, cool. Fred Flintstone. Stone. What? That's odd, because, like, dinosaurs are, like, mankind's tools or something. Why, why don't... Why am I killing them? That's, like... You know, taking a chainsaw to your screwdriver because it pissed you off. You know, sort of shit my dad would do, but you know, we can't climb on the vines, so. <laughs> huh? Wow. All right, what else can we do? Get out of here. That's a, sort of odd. You 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 would think there would be like more social problems with. With a society based on lesser lesser things, like if I was a dinosaur in the Flintstone universe, I'd be like, you know what, what you know what, man, I have fucking rights to. I don't want to be a toilet. I don't want to sit there and have you shit in my mouth for a living. I, I don't even get any paid for this. I don't know, man. It just it's just it's some sort of like social hierarchy. There's no like dinosaur racism. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> fucking know, but you know what I mean. The more I think about Flintstones, the more I, the more I, the more I get confused. You don't remember Tyler Tony Sword? They didn't show it. I mean, everything is a is a is a thing in in the dino uh, in whatever you know. 
No, let me give me a second to fix this. I think I can do a little bit better job. I did full screen now. I don't know if it's gonna matter, but hey, we can just do four by three. But nah, I'd rather stretch it out so it looks awful. That's how the pros do it. That's how my family does it. They just stretch out the entire thing. They stretch out the entire goddamn window, and uh, that's how you do aspect ratio. Absolutely, without a doubt. A dinosaur racism. Why not? Is this really the first level? It seems kind of hard. Maybe I suck at this. Man, I, I I expect the inevitable dinosaur uprising. Look, we're tired of this, humans. Wait a minute, we're fucking huge. Why can't we just kill you all? Why are they, why are they, maybe they, they they just did like a peace treaty? Like, all right, we'll stop killing you if you. Shit in our mouths. We're into that. I, I don't know, man. Why am I, why am I killing Dino? All right. Let's try to get up on these. How do I? Okay, that's cool. And then I uh, do this. Oh man. But it's fall damage too, huh? Make it 6x9 pixels, yeah, there we go. Si not 16x9, 6x9. Well, let's just... COME ON! Ugh! Maybe try up... You gotta hold A to do this. I don't know. I always prefer the Jetsons to, uh, to the Flintstones, I don't know. What do you prefer? I like Jetsons more because it had, uh, what is it, uh... R Rosie the robot? It scared the fuck out of me, but it was cool, because it, like... Wasn't there an episode where it could fight people? <laughs> I don't fucking know! <laughs> well, uh, yeah, fall damage in a 2D platformer, huh? This game is kind of difficult, actually. Alright, there we go. Sort of like a Prince of Persia feel when you uh, climb up to walls and shit. It's kind of weird. Right now, not only like killing dinosaurs and tools, now I'm killing like people too. Unless at least like criminals or delinquents, then I guess it's justified. Wasn't there an episode where these guys crossed over the Flintstones and the Jetsons? Clo yeah. Oh, that's a terrible, terrible thing. All right. If you've never seen the uh, the Flintstone smoking commercial, I'm gonna blow your fucking mind right now. Hang on. Back in the days when, uh, when uh, you know, cartoons appealed to a little different market, I guess you would say and call it. I present to you the Flintstones smoking. Yes, Winston's band. You all work hard, don't they, Barney? Yeah. I hate to see them work so hard. Yeah, me too. Um, let's go around back. Well, we can't see them. Gee, we ought to do something, Fred. Okay. How's about taking a nap? I, I got a better idea. Let's take a Winston break. That's it. Winston is the one filter cigarette that delivers flavor 20 times a pack. Winston's got that filter blend. Yeah, Fred. You know, if, if, if I was born, I'd be like, who the fuck are you talking to, Fred? What's up with your face, Fred? Why do you turn to a Sumerian demon? What's that face? You, you know, no, you know, you know what this face is? It's, it's Fred Fuckstone realizing he sold his soul to the corporate tobacco devils and he knows, oh my god, there's so many kids watching this, they're all gonna grow up with fucking cancer now. And I did it. I did it all. But as long as the money rolls in, it's okay. Filter blend makes the big taste difference, and only Winston has it up front where it counts. Here, ahead of the pure white filter, Winston packs rich tobacco specially selected. They're like, God damn it, these men and their fucking sellout the ideas. 
and specially processed for good flavor in filter smoking. Yeah, Barney Winston tastes good, like a... Uh... They're like, you know what? Fuck you both. We're getting a divorce. Cigarette chug. The Flintstones has been brought to you by Winston. America's best-selling, best-tasting... Wait, 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 wait. If you're going by the can of the show, are they in America? Wasn't America founded, like, m not in this era? <clears throat> you know, mmm, I don't know. Sort of, sort of, rock age America is kind of... Paradoxical is the word, yeah? Sting filter cigarette. It's tastes good like a cigarette should. Okay, so not only do they sell out their fucking soul, they're selling out everybody's souls. They turn Bedrock into Winston. Shame on you. Wait, 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 hang on, why is this flashing? Wait, how is there electricity? Okay, so, so, okay, so there's black magic involved too, great. Well, the devil's power is tough, man. It does a lot of trickery. Best tasting. Best tasting. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a cigarette right now, because... Winston tastes good, like cancer should. Hang on, I'll be right back. Important. Alright, I'm back. Let's look at more commercials, so I can laugh. And forget about how much life sucks. Alright. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, there's more commercials with the Flintstones smoking, huh? There really is no shame in the world. After, you know, the irony of saying that while taking a smoke is... It's pretty, pretty astounding, but... All right, let's let's see what else they conjured up with their black satanic magic. Hi, you, Mr. Flintstone. Greetings, Rocky, my boy. Pack of Winston's, please. Ah, oh, you like them Winston cigarettes, huh, Mr. Flintstone? No, I fucking don't. I'm co contractually obligated to do this. Mm, but uh, of course, they really got something. You bet your life. Folks who really enjoy smoking know it's what's up front that counts. And that's where Winston steps out ahead of the crowd with their exclusive filter blend. Choice golden tobaccos, specially selected and specially... Shut the fuck up, I want to smoke. This asshole right here, this dense motherfucker is not giving me my cigarettes. Look, look at Fred. That, that's this... Look at him. Look at him, he wants blood. Look at that, he just... It's like, I can't take it, I can't take it, just fucking, uh, uh. <laughs> let's keep, let's keep watching and see where this goes, because, you know, why not? Process for filter smoke. Hold it, hold it. Talk to the hand. What are you pitching Winston's at me for? You know I never smoke nothing else. With that tone, I think you smoke something else, Fred. Just practicing, Mr. Flintstone. Everybody knows that Winston tastes good, like a cigarette should. Yeah. Why is the cigarette so out of place? They look like they're photoshopped. You know, they're like... Hmm. Yeah. See you soon, Rocky. He well, he died of secondhand smoking. The Flintstone has been brought to you by Winston. America's best-selling, best-tasting... You know, I'll show you a real commercial. You know, kids did see this shit. They did see this shit, so there really was no excuse. 
I'll show you a fucking commercial. With little baby Joel in it. That's right. He's fucking dead. We killed him. When Snubby Gun plays Private Eye, and you can have the same kind of fun with Mattel's Tommy Burst detective set. The Tommy Burst has pop, pop, pop. Watching motherfuckers drop. God damn, pussy destroyer. Automatic bolt action. Fire off a burst of ten shots. Pull the bolt again. You're reloaded. Oh my or god. Fire single shots like a rifle. But Tommy Burst alone is three dollars. Wow! Wow! I know what I'm picking up the next time I'm going to the store. Not adjusted for inflation, of course, but. In the detective set, you also get the snub nose 38 and snap draw shoulder holster. But what about my Winston cigarettes, Billy? Stick 'em caps and shoot safe shooting shells. <sighs> the exciting new Tommy Burst detective set includes wallet, badge, and ID card. Seven dollars wherever toys are sold. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. And it's actually not made in China. Wow, it's uh, $3, man. $3, I don't know. Holy fuck, $3, man. That was the that was the fucking 50s. It's funny too because like people people these days uh, they uh, they complain about game prices. It wasn't that wasn't that much better back in the uh, the fucking 80s and 90s with the games actually. And that's that's adjusted after inflation. Games were fucking expensive too, so uh, you know shit has always been expensive. Right, this, this Winston cigarette, or actually, I'm a, I'm a fucking, I'm a brand trader. You know what I'm smoking right now? I'm smoking, but I'm smoking Chesterfield. Yeah, Chesterfield. Man, you know what? I don't. I don't. Here's here's the thing. I, I'll be super honest about cigarettes. It all it all tastes the same shit. <laughs> Some people might disagree with me on that, but it's just the same shit. Anyway, computer wasted. Computers back in the day was like three thousand dollars, man. And it's like, what can you do? You can write a single line of code, like "Hello, computer," you know, like basic, man. For one bullet. I don't know, man. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Cigars, man. Cigars is where it's at. <laughs> Menthol, so I smoke that red shit. This is bad. Don't smoke. Smoke, uh, smoke dick like your idols, kids. Then anyway, let's move on. Yeah, I know Black Street. All right, let's move on from the Flintstones, cause you know I could talk about the Flintstones smoking all day, but I actually want to play something else too. <laughs> all right, let's see. What do you want, Fred? I want to shit in a normal toilet in a, in a T-Rex's mouth. That's what I want in my life. Alright. So we got that. Now it's straight out. Din Don. Fogel. Technolo- Technologues. Shotgun. Entering the Doctor Who zone. Alright. I like this. Giving me a migraine headache. Oh, it's Doraemon! I, I actually don't uh, know too much about Doraemon, except he's like a little blue cat, and he uh, he gets all the ladies. What was this game called again? Ding Dong, Ding Dong. Oh man, this this is this is a frustrating shit. Hang on, wait, a minute, can I go up here? Oh. All right, make this jump. Oh. Almost there. Oh! Oh. oh. 
get the nuclear pancake. There we go. All right. My, this music is great. What is this Lego hell I'm walking through here? I can shoot people too. Look at me, I'm a, I'm a true gangster. Wait, fuck off, snail. I'm Doraemon. Destroyer of worlds. Oh, he's a robot cat, apparently. I, I, Dong Dong. Dongus. Man, I gotta check out Doraemon and see what it's all about. For real, though. It's, uh... Oh, and a Doraemon. The acid's kicking in. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be honest, this, this game is pretty cute. I would honestly give this a proper shot if, if I wasn't in a rush to play all these games, but... Uh, oh, it's a door! In the middle of nowhere! Alright, let's go inside. Was that a warp zone? <laughs> yeah, you tell me what this game is about. I don't know, I don't really speak moon speak, so... Uh, do I randomly teleport or... or oh, no, I random teleport. Okay. What well, poor Doraemon. He's the keeper of the universe. Look at my score, by the way. So if you if you don't know exactly what this is done, I actually have an NES to fa or Famicom to NES converter. So this is a it's not doesn't this doesn't fit in the NES in the fat NES thing. You gotta have a converter to do this. So it's it's really a, a long and stupid process. But uh, there you go. Wait a minute, Comperter? <laughs> Comperter. Uh, that's one way to spell, uh, <laughs> computer. Uh, may maybe, maybe they're, they're, this isn't really a joke. Maybe it's just me being silly, but... I read this as a, like, you know... I'm gonna go on the computer! Play some, play some Haba Hotel. On the computer. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Let's see what else we have in this this collection. Nothing good, man. Nothing good. I have to get up every time I have to do this. I really should put my NES some place where I don't have to do that. But anyway, Tetris 2 is the 10 gen version of Tetris. Now, if you don't know the story behind this one, 10 gen is uh, a rather uh, long story, uh, very long story, in fact. So I'm gonna summarize it into this. Two versions of Tetris, the other one won, and that's the one we all remember, right? This is the other version, and uh, this actually is better, in my opinion, because... Uh, handicaps are like, how about 100, because that's, that's the amount of handicap I need after playing this. It's a little different, this version. It's it's not the Nintendo version, it's, it's really good. Hang on, ooh. Now, if I wasn't a shit at Tetris, we, we'd be able to do this, but I am bad. I am bad. So, what's surprising about this, uh, this bootleg, uh, you know, 8 and 11 and 1, whatever you want to call it. Kind of, uh, okay selection of games. Usually it's just like, you know, just garbage. But, hey, it's something. You know what I always secretly wanted? To be good at Tetris. It's just one of those dreams I can't- you know what? I, I- I could be dreaming of being, like, good at hockey or, like, you know, I don't know, t fucking tennis or something like that, but... I just- I always wanted to be good at this, but I could never become good at Tetris. I was, I was always shit at this. And I just accepted it, man. I'm just shit at Tetris. I'm- I'm too fucking dumb. Man, I'm too fucking dumb. I'm not really concentrating either, but... See, see, Tetris is all about having good luck, too. And, well, you know what? I, I don't have that either, so... Yeah, good luck fucking with anything of this. Hang on, let me just squeeze this in. Tetris is an all-time classic. Everybody can play Tetris. 
anybody. See, this is weird too, because te Tetris is one of those games where even grandma can pick up a game and be like, Alright, I don't understand this. I think I think I know why, because you still can use your brain, you don't have to be like, knowledgeable of video games in order to do this. Like, with people with Mario, they get confused because they're like, alright, who am I? Am I the Goomba? You know, at least here you're like, alright, I am I am blocks. I understand it. The, the, the blocks are falling. I need to control these blocks. <laughs> alright, let's, let's just try to die here, because I don't have a lot of time to do this. But yeah, man, this is the other version of Tetris, and it's, it's pretty good. I kind of prefer this one. And they're both really good, though. They're both really good. One of the classics, as they say. I've showed this- I I've showed this before, but th there's a first-person Tetris. Play it if you want to puke. If you want to hate life a little bit more, I guess. There's nothing funny about this, too. None of the NES games have the iconic Tetris, uh... Tetris... Themes, um, you know, the da 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 Dude, bring out the vodka. There's, 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 uh, there's some, there's some video on the internet of like in the '90s in the fucking Cold War, and there's this like Russian fucking soldier that goes, like, you play Tetris, my friend. It's fucking great. I believe this is the Tetris version where you, uh, you, uh, you see like ladies on screen if you win. I can't really confirm or deny that, because I've, I've never been good enough to win a Tetris. I have, but I at least don't remember, but... Uh, what else? You know what? I, I, I'm kind of proud of myself here. I am doing okay. Getting a double, too. I'm doing pretty good. I mean, we're not dead yet, which is a fucking miracle. Thank you, Xenu. The Tetris God. You know, I always feel like Tetris knows a little bit too much about you, like... Tetris is one of those games that... It, it just knows if you want a specific thing. And anyway, I'm fucking dead. Da, comrade! Comrade, do you want to play Tetris? And fuck my sister? What? Alright, you're just gonna play this with level select... And just do, you know, log Loginska. The beauty about this version of Tetris is the black background. I can put anything in the background and and uh, you know what? Let's make let's make Tetris even more like uh, into what I want Tetris to be. Hang on. You're gonna shit your pants when you see this. Are you ready for this? All right, silence. All right, all right. Wait for this. This is gonna be amazing. Trust me. I'm gonna make. Tetris into a communistic Soviet, you know, Kalashnikov vodka dream. Stalin approved. Hang on, check this out. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Now, now this, my, my friends. Back in Russia. Back in the USSR. Oops, hang on. Give me one second to do this. It's gonna be a little bit confusing, but... T trust me, I know what I'm doing. Kind of. My name is Ivan. Alright, do that. Soon, you'll know what I'm doing. You'll know what I'm doing when you see it, and you're gonna be like, oh, damn. Oh, damn, really? You're doing this, Joel? And I am. I am. Alright, you ready for this? Here we go, man.
baby oh baby oh yes oh yes the best anthem ever Yes. Lyrical Joel sucks at Tetris. Go home, comrade. Putin on the Ritz. Everybody in the back now. Do that. Go to Levin. High score by ah! <laughs> Fucking timing. Oh, Russia. How did you ever compose such a great... G great theme. <laughs> well, I certainly have a craving for pierogies. Anyway, let's let's see what else we can find in this collection. Why is there a Russian man yelling at me? Maybe Russia found me out. I comrade. So that's Tangent Tetris. It's great. I suck at Tetris, as you know. So let's not focus too much on that. We all know how that goes. Moving on. Moving on. I gotta move every time I wanna do that. So this Adventure Island, we play that one, but... Uh... Not too many interesting ones in this collection. And there's good games, there's good games. It's, uh, you know... Now, if you, if you don't know, I played a nude version of this where... Where you play as this guy and you're jumping off... Uh, well, you're avoiding dicks. Very clever, huh? One of those games that has just... You don't have to do anything. Just press right and jump. Jump right or you die. The guy you're playing as has an insatiable... Insatiable hunger. He, he, he dies within like a minute if you don't feed him bananas. <laughs> he's just real... He's got the munchies bad. What I don't understand here, is that his mouth or his nose? Let's look at this sprite, just for a second, alright? He looks fucking traumatized. 
Well, I would be too if I was like eating bananas every minute, but whatever. You you get my point. Oh, da 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 da! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh! It is a cl oh, give me the hammer. I, uh, I, I think I'm supposed to get the eggs too, but, uh... <laughs> Good game. I, I actually like this game a lot. It's, it's a little derpy, but, uh... It's, 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 uh... Hang on. Yeah! Now I got the Sumerian demon with me. I've heard a ghost story or something like that of a, uh... Damn it. Like, isn't there like a like a thing in real life where people summon sex demons? Like, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, I know, I know what a succubus is, but I, I'm talking like real, real sex demons. And well, the problem with that is like, how can you have sex with something you can't feel? Maybe, maybe you just want a ghost to watch you. But how do you how do you know it's a, an attractive succubus? Maybe it's like just old old man Johnson in a in a Charlie Brown, you know, ghost cheat. Just watching you having a wank. I don't know. Man, if I if I died and became a ghost and I was suddenly, you know, summoned as a sex demon, I'm just like, I'm fuck that. Bring me to hell instead. Wouldn't the, wouldn't the male succubus be like an incubus? Succubus. I don't know. Or get this, maybe you actually feel the succubus like giving you a blowjob, but that, that's annoying because like you'd be sitting on the train or like an important job interview and suddenly your succubus starts like, you know, hogging your Hogan. Or like, you know, peeling down the banana and you're like, not now succubus. Or like you're having a PowerPoint presentation in school and suddenly, you know, your succubus starts like fondling your knob head. Or like the bowling pins, man, and you're like, stop it, succubus. No ghost jobs today. Like, what if you were in, in, in Sunday school and you just like start ejaculating like a fire hose? You're like, god damn it. And then you have to go to do, do church and be like, alright, listen here. Alright, alright, rabbi. There's a, there's a, there's a really attractive succubus that keeps sucking my dick. I like it, but fuck. I need to, like, do my taxes, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that would work. I, I, uh... You know, you might laugh and be me like, What the fuck are you talking about, Joel? But listen. How does how does, how does a sex demon even make sense? It, it, like, is there any rules to this? Yeah, yeah, Joel, this is not the official succubus you're talking about. Well, how the fuck do you know what an official succubus is? Is there rules to this? I don't know. Is there rule to magic? I thought all magic was like, you know, smoke and mirrors, but I guess it's blowjobs too, huh? Sex demons. What a joke. I'd be, I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. Ghost blowjob. Well, Adventure Island, uh, well, going back to this feels odd, but- OH SKATEBOARD! Oh, you're dead. <laughs> man. Oh, man. Have you ever skateboarded on a cloud while thinking about ghost blowjobs? Well, no, I have. All in all, Go Adventure Island is a fine, fine game that... Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a little simple, but does a game like this need to be that, you know... Elaborative. No, it's 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 a great game. I like Adventure Island a lot, but uh, yeah, let's move on. I've never checked out Adventure Island if it's on if it's a cartoon or not, but I do know it through this game alone, which is I know Gilligan's Island, but that's a whole different thing. Uh, all right, so we got 90 Tank, which is a little classic game. I want to go with Tank J. 
1991. You can actually make your own levels with this. Um, now, actually, growing up, I actually had a friend who had this as a legit bootleg. He had one of those, like, 1001 consoles that you buy. And this was one of them. But they fucked them over bad, because this, this was the only game on that thing. Uh, let me, let me read it. Uh, all they did was copy-paste the same game a thousand times. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. You can set levels in this if you want, it's... It's, uh, it's a classic game. Uh, you wanna protect your, your Nazi eagle down here. Against the, uh, the gray, uh... The gray tanks. Maybe it's a World War II game. You know, you, fi you fill in the blanks, man. You fill in the blanks of what this game is supposed to be. I just wanna, want it to be like a... A D-Day... World War II era game, but... Here you go. Game over. The Axis has defeated. Alright. It's it's a good game. There's not much else to say. You can be two players and do this. You gotta involve a little strategy in blowing up the the brick walls and gotta protect yourself and get the power-ups. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Very simple game though, but uh, it, I like it. It's, it's a little addicting. Alright, cool. Anyway, moving on to the next game. There's not a lot to say about this, honestly. <laughs> And we're almost... Oh, we are at the end, actually. We are at Popeye. <sighs> Popeye the Sailor, man. I hated spinach. I've hated spinach since day one. The, the day I was born, I hated spinach. And to the day I die, I hate spinach. But I only hate spinach if it's done in a bowl, like a soup. Damn it. It's just, you know, spinach in a. I, I hate it. It's so gross. Ugh. Anyway, let's talk about the game for a minute. Uh, Popeye is an arcade game that was ported to the NES. Actually, one of the first games for the NES, extremely early in the in the library. I think one of the first, actually. And uh, now I'm just fucking up here a little bit, but uh, let's try this again. I gotta get the spinach first. Man. I gotta avoid him. Bluto. Are those skulls? Well, wow, I never realized how metal this game was. So you wanna catch all these hearts, uh, olive oil is dropping. Which I'm obviously really bad at, but... Uh, Sautéed spinach, never had that. I'd rather eat raw spinach than, uh, than dealing with... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Popeye the... Dead man! Uh oh. Well, I'm really bad at this. Hang on, just give me a minute to figure this out, because... I really can't be that bad. Try this again. Through. That's how you spell that. Through. Popeye the sailor man! You can't go down like this. Yeah, there you go. Now you just gotta catch all of her hearts. A little bit faster, please. There we go. Reminds me a little bit of Game & Watch. I like old Game & Watch games. They're, uh... Oh, come on. Bluto confirmed for Smash. Alright, gotta eat the spinach. Alright. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Bluto. That's right. Bubba the steroid man. Classic arcade game. Great great stuff. Didn't somebody do like a like a remake of, of Popeye, like a Popeye movie recently? Something like that. It's a very old franchise. I think it's... Is, is Popeye as old as, like, Betty Boop and all that shit? I remember old B Popeye cartoons in black and white. Bluto. <laughs> Alright, one more. Two more, actually. Alright, Bluto, you idiot. Four, I'm sorry. 
It's a Popeye movie coming out next year. Boopy's older, huh? Well, the game is quite shot for me. Did you see that? Popeye's Bizarre Adventure. I believe that's called Jojo Lion or Jojolian. You know what? I'm, I'm sick of life. Fuck all this. Fuck all this. I'm a sailor. I'll get some. I get. I'll get some boy pussy anyway. Screw this. Pluto, punch my head in, please. I'm tired of living. I go fuck a dolphin. Anyway, that's Popeye, classic stuff. Uh, I'm gonna move on to uh, the main event of tonight. What we've all been waiting for, we are gonna play the, uh, what should I call it, the, the Mega Fick. The Mega Fick, which we opened the stream with. Yeah, the Mega Fick is a bootleg Chinese console that, uh, oh, Mega Tech, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that it's called that. Hang on. No, it's Meebie Fick. I'm sorry, Meebie Fick. I'm checking this like, wait a minute. Huh? Anyway, uh, this is the Meebie Fick. And again, I really thought it was called the... the, uh, the <laughs> well, look at this. Look at this font. Well, I do like that they have like a angry panther on it. Now, me, m the one I was given does not have the ping pong paddle, unfortunately, but... Uh, <laughs> there you go. A fucking ping pong paddle. Well, I'm gonna hook this thing, this bastard up, and uh, let's go check it out. I do not have high hopes for this. I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Sit tight, and let's check out the Mebi Fick. Fun fact. Fun fact. I got well. I uh, let's just say this thing came from a grocery store. Yeah, a grocery store that sells uh, Pocky. Uh, dried squid and uh, ramen from Thailand. So, you know it's quality. At least I won't get food poisoning, I'll tell you that. Now, here's some other little fun trivia about this. These controllers, they fit on, inside on an Atari 2600. Same outputs. Same outputs, man. Anyway, be right back, sit tight, and... Uh, Jesus Christ, I don't know what the fuck I expected, but... <laughs> Life sucks. Alright, so, uh, here we go. Are you ready for this? I'm not. One hundred and one games. Da 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 ba 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 da 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 What is this music from? It's driving me crazy. I know this music. What is this music? Oh my god. If 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 you can name this music, I will give you half a calzone, alright? Page one, my childhood. Now I will say this, the uh the, uh, the, the controllers that they provided with this are PS2 controllers, or rip off from it. But they feel great. The D-pad feels really good. Like, it feels great in my, my thumb. And, uh... She got these games. So we got uh, Contra, Infant School, Bump and Jump, Flipul, Tiger Heli, Argus, Saycross, Space Fight of Gun, Fantasy of Gun. Well, I guess Gun's got a dream too. And Abbey's of Gloom. Let's try this out. This looks official. Mmm, I like this. It's catchy. Lovely. Alright, try that out. Let's play on Mormol. Okay. Something is very wrong. Now, what is going on? I think I got the wrong controller, maybe. No, wait a minute. I selected something at the start, so what the fuck, man? Maybe the other one. Hang on. What is going on? What am I playing as? What? 
Oh, wait a minute, I think it's a light gun game, that's why. Oh, well, fuck. Alright. I see, I see. Well, I guess we can't play this. Oh, shit, I dropped it on the floor! <laughs> what, you wanna know the best part about this? It's so lightweight that literally it feels like holding a, a one slice of prosciutto ham. That's how lightweight this thing is. I'm not even kidding, it's... It's so fucking light that I can honestly have this thing hit me 500 miles per hour in the fucking head and I... I, I will survive. It's it's so cheap. All right, let's try out some other games. So we got that. Let's try out good old Contra, such as uh, Contra M F S L five six seven and eight. Try doing the fucking Contra code on this thing. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Let's see what's, uh, you know. All right, so this is my Contra attempt at world record. Hang on. All right, let's see. Uh, somebody look up the world record for Contra right now. Let's see if I can beat it. Let's see if I can break the speed run. This is it, man. The speed run for Contra. Let's see if I can beat it. Hang on. Hang on. Gotta kill this fucker. There we are. All right, all right, hang on. I know what the speed run is, but man, I'm gonna attempt to beat it. The best time is 10 minutes. Going, man. Choke, choke. I've trained so many fucking months for this. Oh man, oh man, I'm gonna do it. I'm going it. I'm going for it. We're up to like, like two minutes now, I think. Oh shit. That's no good. All right, we're almost at the final boss here. Final boss. Final boss. Watch out for the aliens, oh, oh Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Oh shit, we're not dead yet though. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! World record, baby! I hold the world record. See that, speedrunners? You suck. Alright. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> World record! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> well, I will be appearing at Summer Games Done Quick uh, next year because, uh, as you can see, I've trained hard for this uh, and uh, I have beaten Contra Fair and Square with the world record. So, uh, absolutely. So, I'd like to thank my family, my local pizza place, and Red Bull for uh, making me the uh, video game king that is in front of you right now. Better speedrunner you cannot find. Alright, for, for real though, hang on, what the fuck is this? So, okay, I get it. If you feel like you're being a ch if you just want to cheat, let's go to 8, count rate, it's a 8 level. I'm the best around. Here you go. It's all- It's on film! Get the camera, mom! We got a no scope! We got a no scope! Oh, you can just select it here. What the fuck? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA start. Well, I already have 30 lives. Wait, why am I here? I have the laser now. Which sucks, by the way. Don't pick the laser. It always blows. Okay, so, so basically, uh... This is... Contra... With a lot of cheats on it. It's, uh... Cool, I guess. By the way, if you're wondering why this is so slow... This is how we Europeans played it. Yes, this is how the Europeans fucking played it. Oh, 
All games in Europe are a little bit slower, I guess. But that's not always true, because I remember Mario being fast. I don't know, I, I do know that Sonic the Hedgehog on the Genesis was fucking terrible here in Europe. Chitra. Ugh. Ugh. Playing Contra on a bootleg console. Ugh. Easy modu. Now, would you think that a slower game equals, uh, you know what, it, question for you guys, do you think a, if Contra is slower, it's easier or the opposite? I guess it would be easier, because you have more reaction time, but I don't know. Let's try this again. This is interesting. Let's try out, uh, Contra again. Uh, let's try out L. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I, I get it, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Machine gun, uh, what, what, what is the other gun? Uh, whatever. Spread laser, I get it. I get it. So you can pick your gun if you want, but then again, this would be redundant because you can always pick your, your thing immediately at the start. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could select spread and be like, you know what, I want to play... Oh shit, well, you get what I mean. Real Contra. On a bootleg console. I mean, here, here, here's the thing, too. Wait, what the fuck? No, no lives? Oh, <laughs> so they have an option if you don't want to play the game. They have an option of saying, all right, you don't want to play the game? Just don't worry, we got you covered. You want that option? Yeah, we got you covered. You fucker. It just starts off. It just, uh, it's just, wow. It's just a demo, I guess. Truly an enigma. You know what? I often say this, but if you if you ever wondered of like why is there no good alien or predator games of the old old generation? What is it? The fourth or five, fifth? I, I don't know what generation the NES is, but uh, Contra is the ultimate like action movie tribute. I mean, it steals a lot of the alien xenomorph design, and it has, you know, it has both Arnold and Rambo on a cover. Really, if you want the ultimate tribute, you don't have to look for the official ones. You gotta look for the, the rip-off, the knockoffs, like Contra. It doesn't really a knockoff, it's more like a tribute. You know, everybody knows it, but it's true. If you're not, if you're not familiar with this, which you should. You fucking should. You dirty rat fucker. Alright, if you don't know what this is about, Contra art... Rip off. Alright, there we go. Hardcore Gaming 101 did a pretty interesting uh, tribute on this, or article, I'm sorry. So, this is Arnold. You all know Arnold. You know, the good old, good old Arnie. See the driving the fire. <laughs> Alright, and you got Arnold, and then you got Contra, and striking resemblance. But it just goes to show, you got the Rambo, and you got everything. And even even the Contra 3 does this. Check this out. Yeah? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Check this out. What happens now? Oop. Love it. Love that shit. It's just so good. Uh, here, here's, a, here's a weird one. Here's a weird one. Um, where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, g game called Navy Moves. Look familiar? Nah. Actually, you know what? Let's see how close this is. If I scale this down like this... Wow, this is, this is like shit I did on paper as a kid. <laughs> Hang on, a little bit more, a little bit more. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! You dirty piss fucker. Oh my god. Alright, well. You think this is close? Nah. It's just a coincidence, man. It's just a coincidence. I don't know. Joseph Gibson. That's right. Who else is Joseph Gibson? I, I don't know. Seem a little bit familiar? Maybe. <laughs> I want to show you a, a funny example of of uh, of this too. This one fucking post that Conan did in this movie 
has been done like so many times. I'm not kidding. Th this post of Conan and his Austrian abs. Check this out. But there's a reference. Bam. 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 Just, just bam. Bam. It just doesn't stop, does it? Bam. Just, oh my god. Jesus Christ. Well, that, you might think that's funny, but... You know what, though? It... People loved Arnold so much that they wanted them in their game. Let me show you the the best one I, I can find here because uh, it's it's funny as shit. Um, where is this one? I gotta find it because it's 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 so good. It's just so good. Uh, Arnold. If you've never seen this, Arnold did this, like, Japanese energy drink commercial. I'll show you. Hang on. Yeah, here we go. If you've never seen this, then you haven't lived. Good God. But anyway, they decided that this would be a good thing to represent our game. Ah. Uh, uh, this is my favorite because this this one is the just the the product seller as they say in the in the business. Like Ali, 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 Ali. Arnold, no matter what language you speak, you butcher it. I love thee. Tuck it up. You can sell me, you can sell me mud water and I'll buy it. You know why? Because waking up feels like I'm coming in the gym, coming in day in day out. Yeah, <laughs> what is it that uh, coming in the gym? This is, this is old school Arnie. Before he like uh, he became a movie star, he 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 calmed in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> The greatest feeling you can get in a gym, or the most satisfying feeling you can get in a gym, is the pump. <laughs> Let's say you train your biceps, blood is rushing into your muscles, rushing. and that's what we call the pump. The pump. Your muscles get a really tight feeling, like your skin is going to explode any minute. You know, it's really tight. It's like somebody blowing air into, yeah. into your muscle. It just Come on, blows give up. People air. It feels different. It, it feels fantastic. I like this like ominous flute music. It's as satisfying to me as uh, coming is, you know, as uh, having sex with a woman and coming. So can you believe how much I am in heaven? I'm like uh, getting the feeling of coming in the gym, I'm getting the feeling of coming at home, I'm getting the feeling of coming backstage when I pump up, when I pose out in front of 5,000 people, I get the same feeling. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific, right? <laughs> and that's when he knew his career was going uphill. <laughs> you gotta stop coming into gym. I go into the bus. I come on the bus. I go home and on the funeral. I come on my mother. Oh. Anyway, uh, well, it would it would be problematic if I came every day and and you know no no Arnold. It's it's not being it's in hell. You know that thing we're talking about earlier, the succubus. Well, if I came everywhere on every place, it would be awful. Everything was coming, coming up the roses. All right, the governor of California. <laughs> Why am I showing you all this? I got so incredibly sidetracked. Oh, that's right, we were talking about Contra. That's right. Good God, do you have no shame? All right, a anyway. And before we got sidetracked, uh, let's try on page two. All the mission, Castle Excellent, Tetris 2. Ooh, whoa, look at this. 
is it just me or is this picture coming in more clear than the bootleg cartridge I have? I don't know why, but this looks more clear. I maybe I gotta compare the the uh, the video footage, but this looks better. I don't know what what do you think? In fact, I'm even doing better playing the bootleg console with with, with this version. It, hmm. Oh, Chinese bootleg gods, give me your strength. Coming in the gym. I'm coming playing Tetris. <laughs> All right. Day in and day out. <laughs> Man. That's like the opposite of erectile uh, erectile dis dysfunction. What do, what do you call it? When you're coming everywhere. <laughs> the movie set. In the gym. Streaming. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can't play this game. I can't play this game. I'm just thinking of Arnold coming in the gym. You're coming on the communism. You're coming on the children. Uh, um. Communism, cotton stash. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Or, shut the fuck up, Arnold. Get out of my head. Get the fuck out of my head. All I see is this. Through my- <laughs> Through my dreams. You gotta come. Every day, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me, man? Just- just- Fucking hell. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Communism. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I think Twitch is gonna ban me after this. Give me like, get this man off the stream. He's not fit to handle a stream. It's fucking hell. Oh my god. That's a that's that's a quote. That's a quote. It feels like you're coming every day. You go into the gym. You go home. <laughs> yeah. All right. Man. Man. Man, just life sucks, man. Just life fucking, life fucking blows. That's what I gotta say. This music, this silence, the the silence is not making this any better. I gotta switch games, man. Uh, let's let's try a duck. 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 When you're coming on the duck. Uh, the, I I played this before. You're you're playing as this 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 duck, right? You're supposed to protect your egg. It's a, uh, it's a classic, as they say. Yeah, duck man. You never played this? I think you're supposed to shove it down here. No, you're supposed to like. Uh, hang on. How do I do this again? Am I supposed to go down here or? Okay. Okay. Oh. 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 There, there, there you go. Let's take a moment and appreciate why life exists. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Duck. HD remake when? Good, good lord, good lord. 
All right, let's try out uh, this uh, wars. There's a lot of wars and wars in the world. Uh, wars. It's funny that there was Japanese in the. I guess they couldn't pronounce the first thing, so you just went with what the second said. Input name. Uh, how about. Uh, um. Hang on. This is the ultimate name. If you don't agree with me, then uh, you clearly do not have never played shit in the arcade. You gotta put in three letters. Ham. Tournament fighter? What's this? Oh god damn, ow. Wait, I, I know this game. It's called like, uh... Penguin War, something like that, yeah? Oh my god, fucking giving me ear damage. Ham lost a set. Uh... You gotta do it, come on, do it! This reminds me a little bit of Bullet Ball. Ball Ball. If you don't know what Bullet Ball is, it's one of those shows where it's like, uh... What is it, like, loan sharks? It's like, you gotta, like, present an invention to these people to fund it on TV, right? And there's this guy who sold everything in the divorce that's, like, just... Everything in his life is just gone, right? And he invented this this thing where he's like throwing balls around and he's like, it's got bullet ball. And he presents it and they're like, this is not good. And they're like, it's... And they ask him, now that you sold everything, what do you have? And he's like, bullet ball. Yeah. I was like, oh shit. Shark tank, whatever you want to call it. A. Poor guy. I hope, I hope Bullet Ball became popular, man. <laughs> I really hope so, because it breaks my heart, man. I'm fucking... I'm fucking... Man, I don't think about it. I'm, I'm getting all kinds of melancholy, man. <laughs> I, I haven't seen Bullet Ball in so long. I, I, I gotta see that for, for a second. Hang on. Before I do that, I want to see Infant School. Now, if you remember the Insane Mario bootleg video, uh, this was called Digimon. Yeah, it was just called Digimon, and uh, Lum is from some sort of Japanese anime, I know that. And she's like an ogre chick or something, like, I, I don't know, but anyway, th she's in this preschool, and shit's on fire. You know what, what a perfect, what an absolute perfect game! It's a game about being burnt alive in a school. It's the perfect, you know, thing that I want this game to be. Burn it all. Purge it in fire. Oh, it feels so good. Infant school. Inf I don't know if infants should be going to school. They should be in a fucking, like, one of those cubes for babies, so they don't get diseases, right? Like, uh, baby- but what do they call Baby cubes? Hang on, hang on. What, what do they call baby cubes when you put a baby in a- in a cube when they're born? No, don't look at me like that! You know, you know, you know when you, you- you- Babies? Babies? When they're born, and you put them in like a, a glass- A A, a prison. Like a- like a prison for babies. It's not a prison. No, what, what, what do you call it? What do we call it? Uh... I just would call it just like a bassinet. I don't know. Oh, okay. A bassoon. A bassoon. A, not a bassoon. I don't know. B baby- I don't fucking know. In incubator! Incubator! That's what it's called. I think it's for like chicken eggs. No, they're not for chicken- Chicken eggs? I don't think anybody but one of us should have children. Babies. We not <laughs> We're not planning on that anyways. <laughs> no. 
incubator. Anyway, uh, incubator. I, I don't know, man. A crib. No, no. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I, I will draw. I will draw. I will draw what I'm talking about. So you will understand a little bit better what I'm trying to illustrate here. Because this is going to be impossible without. Without. Uh, all right, hang on. All right. So what I'm trying to what I'm trying to to illustrate here, and do excuse my poor paint skills, but if this game is called Infant School, and they shouldn't be in school, they should be in one of these. Okay, re ready for this? Here we go. Okay, okay. So we got the baby. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I'm right, by the way. No! no? I just looked it up. <laughs> hospital baby bassinet is what they call it. No, they're a prison for baby. Oh, sorry. So this is the baby. <laughs> this is the baby. This is the baby right now. All right, and then we got to put him in a diaper. Hang on. There we go. This is the baby. He's got broken legs, though, but... All right, there we go. And now we gotta make him a little bit more tiny f to illustrate this point. Right, so, okay, okay. Then you do this. Okay, ready? There you go. There you go. Right. I gotta do it in a three-dimensional space so this makes a little bit more sense. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Now you have like this stuff where there's like gloves inside, so you can like take care of the baby without touching him. And like there's a pillow. <laughs> yeah? This is what I'm talking about. Honey, it's this, this this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's called a bassinet. That's a baby prison. That is not no, that is not you, a you... prison for them. Babies <laughs> <laughs> Oh my oh dear. Get get a woman woman, I, I know babies. I was put. Really? I I. They're in prison when born. I don't know, man. L l look at this baby. <laughs> oh, that is the ugliest <laughs> child I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, L. Fuck it, L. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'll I'll be right back. Uh, radioactive baby. I don't fucking know. But life is in shambles. I'll be right back. And I'm, and I'm back. I'm back with with less babies this time. Hang on, hang on. Ah, this controller slow. You know what? You know what? I, I'm I'm curious. If I ever got a an Atari 2600, I want to see if this actually works to um, to see if it's compatible with it. Cause it's the same outputs. It's the same outputs as that. So who knows? Who knows? But anyway, let's continue playing infant school and and hopefully I'll argue less about babies this time. <laughs> Alright, so... Oops, that's the wrong controller, I think. They do feel really well, like, like good in your hand, though. They, uh... They don't feel odd or off. They, they generally feel like good controllers, which is really odd, but... It's, it's true. It feels great. Alright, anyway, fuck that. Right. Let's try out, uh... Uh... Gal That's that's the word when you're puking up like soup. <laughs> Am I ready? Drag. What is this game? Is this Galaga? Galg. I've never played Galg. We're gonna spend a little bit of Xevious. What's in a name? Galg. Is this Sinistar? I don't know. The game is fucking loud, though. Hang on, let me put this down a little bit. There we go. Sort of a standard, uh... thing. I've never... I, I've never played this before. I don't know if it's unofficial or what, but it's, uh... You die really easily, too. This music is bad. It's just like two instruments. There's like a 
one that goes doot 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 doot, and the other goes. <laughs> Can I touch these? It's horrendous music. I mean, it's not crazy boss levels are bad, but it's it feels. Uh, well, that's what I call music. Seven. Do they still make? That's what I call music, or like absolute musics. You know those compilation CDs? They gotta stop, right? I don't know. Oh man. Galg. Galg. Well, yeah, it reminds me a little bit of Sinistar, but like less good. But. I mean, it's not total shit. The gameplay is okay for a shoot em up, I guess. But the music, man, the fucking music. You know, it's at least it's better than those Action 52 uh, shoot 'em ups. Oh yeah, they do. They do more of those absolute CDs, huh? They do kids bop. If you don't know what kids bop is, it's like it's a bunch of kids that get into a studio and like re-record popular tracks. Contemporary popular pop tracks and make it more kid friendly. It's quite bizarre, but it, it's. It's, uh, you know. I don't know why. Hey man, we've been doing that shit for years. We've been like doing kids' songs and metal versions. Now they're taking it back. Now they're taking like metal songs and making it into like nursery rhymes. Like Cannibal Corpse. I. Come, blood. Okay. I'm a, parts, 99 parts. Oh my god, this music is so bad. Ugh. Even the game over music is better. It's great. Moving on. What else do we have? Oh, Spelunker! Dude, I hate this game. This game is... just shit. You know, I'll tell you why. Uh, you guys know Spelunky, right? Well... Spelunky is... draws influence from, from this. But the problem with Spelunker, it's so fucking hard! It's so fucking hard. You know why? One simple reason. And I'll, I'll screen reading it so you can see exactly where this game goes wrong. Ready? You ready for this? The fall damage is like an inch down, and you die. You can't jump. Dead. He sucks. So much. He's great. I love him. Japan loves this game, but... <sighs> that was definitely one improvement Spelunky did. They, uh, they added a little bit uh, better, uh, <coughs> you know, fall damage. Percent... Gravity. It's more of a strategy game than a platformer, though, so I really shouldn't hate it on that point. It's... It's more very careful planning. It's not a bad game, per se, but it's, it's just these fucking jumps. These fucking jumps, they, they, ugh. The, the, the guy, the Spelunky man, sort of has a little inside, uh, gamer joke that he, he's like one of the worst characters ever. Uh, so in Japan, Spelunker man is like, who's the worst, like, in the combat? Who would, would lose instantly? Well, this guy, obviously. But this game is quite known in Japan, actually. I don't know, in the States, in Europe, because I've never heard about it. And anyway, we're moving on. Let's try out uh, Doughboy. Doughboy. Can't say I've ever played Doughboy before, but. Alright, what's going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ, my ears! Every fucking bullet is so loud! Oh my god! Fuck! Take me out of this hell. 
Oh my god, this is so loud. It's... Oh, Jesus. Who left condoms on the floor? Mines, huh? Okay. And TNT. Abort? Yeah, this game needs to be aborted. Oh, you can abort? Okay, you shouldn't just say fuck it. I don't want to play anymore. Doughboy. It's war, man. I feel there's some sort of reference here that is a little... Oh, terrorism, that's great. Is this a war, or what am I doing? I don't know, but these soldiers, they seem... They look like the the pig soldiers in, or the pig guards, or whatever. The, uh... Immodded 3. I don't know why, but... They have the same, like, shape of their bodies. Where have I heard this anthem before? Huh. Oh my god, I, honestly, I can't even play- oh my god! 10 out of 10. The best part? I can't even pause, it goes- oh my- No! Had enough of that. Let's see, uh... Mappy, I played that. Dig Dog Classic. Joust, you know, Antarctic Adventure, let's see what this is. Oh, isn't this the penguin game? Yeah, I, I, I played this pretty game before. It's pretty good. Oh, this is some drunk music. I don't know what this song is called, but I, I, I know it from something else. It's some drunk music. Ooh. It's sort of like 3D World Runner, but... Uh... <laughs> Fuck off, seal. All right, orange seal. Oh, Jesus Christ! This, this I, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. Page seven. Uh, that's one of we're at. Page eight. Uh, door door. Kung Fu. Bomberman. That's a good one. Uh, Bookie Man. Start Bookie Man. I'm gonna play that one. I sure haven't played this one. Something is... ...off here, hang on. I'm playing as the green bug. Oh, I get it. I get what the fuck this is. I know exactly what this is. So we're going around getting chased, huh? There's man in the title. And I gotta cover all, and I gotta go through all the level and get everything on the screen, huh? Hmm. Well. It smells like something else. But it does smell like shit. Let's clear the level and see what happens. So sort of like under perspective here too, oh Jesus. You know what's funny, but, but, uh, let's be honest, it's Pac-Man. But anyway, um... Uh, you know what always fascinated me? The AI of the ghosts in Pac-Man. Sometimes they're very clever, sometimes they're really stupid. Alright, the perspective is weird. Alright. It's old as dirt, man. Alright, come on. I do like this lion, he looks grumpy as shit. Okay, somebody's pooping on the floor, and I don't agree with that. Stop that. Is this dog pooping? There, there you go. I don't know what else to say, but... Okay, cool. Anyway... Let's see what else we have. Page 8. Chuck and Pop. Page 9. Bookie Man. That's where we're at. Road Fighter. Ikari. A close call. 
And sometimes I don't know if this is a real title, so just like bullshit. Oh, <laughs> whoa! Holy shit, what is this? It's a badass, look at this. Okay. Secret 7153. Okay. What is this, Golgo 13? Is that like on game where. Oh, okay. A close call. I'm shooting up a church while I'm going to hell. Wait, what the fuck? Never get. <laughs> Wait, well, that's fucking encouraging. Never give up. A close all. I think I'm getting shot. That's the thing. You gotta figure out where the sn never give up. It's sort of a weird message. It's sort of like saying, "All right, we know the game is hard, but just fucking sit through it." All right, fucking hell. All right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Never give up. You're the best around. Wax on, wax off. Oh, this music is great. It's uh, oh my god, that tone! It sounds like a fucking fire alarm. Oh god, listen to that! You know what? Screw this church. <laughs> this is the worst music. Oh my god. Duh! All right, come on. What am I doing here exactly? It's just the same church over and over again. Jesus Christ. One more. Can I go inside? What the fuck? Never give up. No game. I guess I could give up. Give up on life. You fucking die. All right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious here. What is this game? I never heard about it. Hang on. A close call, NES. Oh, that's clearly not it. Let's, let's see this around and see what... Was it called a close call or a close all? Hang on. Oh, 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 shit. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's called... It's called... Uh, a close call. It's called a close all. Alright, check this out. Go on Google. A close all. That makes no sense. I can't find anything on this. Can't find anything on this. Uh. But I. I found a rat though, on Google. Ew! Oh, ew! There's a, ew, there's a, ew, there's a rat with its testicles out. Ew! What the fuck? Ew! No, thank you. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. All right. Ooh. Anyway, moving on. Jesus Christ! I didn't expect that. A close all. It looks like Hogan's Alley. Is it supposed to be? I don't know what it's called, but it's something. It's something at least. Quad challenge. Bump and jump. Uh, fantasy of gun. Let's see what this is all about. I think I play. Wait, which one did we play? Oh, look at this. I wish I had a light gun for this, but we don't. All right. Try try page two. 1942 Spartan elevator action. Duck. Wait a minute. Mag Max. Mag Max. The, uh... The Blood Warrior. Actually, I know about this game. Ma Mag Max is something entirely different. It's, it's It sort of reminds me a little bit of Formation Z. It's actually quite good. Anyway, I, I want to show you something completely different. I have a game called, uh... Bump and Jump? Check this out. It's a crack game. It's just a crack game. Check this out. The best part? Check this out, hang on.
Holy balls. Yeah, this is a fucking game, alright? <laughs> it is an excellent game. Apparently not that bad, it's just... it's just... Crazy! <laughs> Bump and jump, man. Bump and jump. The car is kind of jumping. It's it's weird. Because I keep seeing a face here, you know? I was talking about, you know, how you can see faces and shit, like houses and, and bricks and tiles and all that. Well, look at this. It looks like it's infinitely staring at me. I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. Creepy. Anyway. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right. I need to get the barrels with the P on them. Yeah, hang on. Bump and jump is dead. I can't believe bump and jump is dead. You know, you know what the funniest thing about this? Listen to the pause thing. It sounds so ominous. Like, you want to pause the game, motherfucker? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh. You know what this thing reminds me of? It's, it reminds me of this. Hang on. I don't know if you guys know this 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 Sumerian demon creature, but uh, bump and jump reminds me just a little bit, just a tiny bit of this. I don't know though. Bump and Jump has more of a a a a, 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 a crazy face on him though. Hang on. There we go. You know what? You know what? Too. Give me a second. Give me a second to correct something. L let me be mature here. Real mature. Well, that, that looks good. But, but. Life sucks and then you die. Christ Almighty. Anyway, uh, let's move on from this this filth and see what else we can find in this collection. But but, yeah, there was an attempt. Uh, let's see. Pay By the way, do you see this this icon I got? It's like a nuclear UFO or something. Like, I don't know. Yeah, maturity. Uh, the Tower Draga, uh, Spelunky Gyrodyne, Ex to Exus, Sasa, it just reeks a bootleg. How about, uh, Sasa, let's see what this is about. Well, yeah, I got what I wanted, it's a big fucking Sasa. Whoa, 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 what the fuck, man? Oh, I see. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta balloon yourself around and... Well, this is an interesting concept. Look at this. You gotta basically shoot, shoot with gravity. Or, or something. It's not that bad. It's 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 like a helium. Is that a cow? What the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm having a seizure, man. Well, days of the cow is becoming a fucking Angus beef hamburger after this. Sasa. 
what does that even mean? Well, you tell me. Let's check out, uh... Uh... We played a close all. Uh... Let's play... They have regular Pac-Man? Combat. Check and pop. <laughs> Check and pop. Helicopter. There you go. You wanted something funny? You know who developed this? Uh, this game is actually called Attack on Bunglin Bay. I actually know this game. You know who developed this? Yes. Oh well, yeah, this yeah, good fucking luck guessing. Uh, I'll just I'll just give you a hint. Sim City. Sim City man. Yeah. It's a pretty good game. You actually it's it's supposed to be like the original t uh, intention of the game was to like it's based on some some French conflict or something like that. And they they told Will Wright you can't do this shit, so they had to change everything to like alien robots or something like that. I might be talking about it on my ass, but I I, I think I've, it's it's supposed to be something like that. Anyway, uh, let's check out King of Ghost. All right, Donald Duck is dead. I'm sure there's some some Japanese anime or something like that uh, that is totally over my head that was I'm playing this, but I have a huge fucking mouth. Look at this. <laughs> that is the greatest sprite ever. Arguing on the internet. Dot JPEG. I'm louder than you. Let me win the argument. Holy shit. I'm playing as like a... Oh, this dog is barking at me. <laughs> I got some dick-sucking lips. Yeah, there you go. And let's move on and play something else. There's so many games on this. It really, it really is baffling how much they squeeze things. Because usually with these 101 games, it's uh, it's usually this bullshit with it. It's it's most Mario uh, copied like a hundred times, but I guess not, man. What is so odd about this too is there's no Mario on it. B Wang. Oh, that's one way to spell wing, with wang. Alright, let's try this out. Man. Look at this. It's great. What am I playing? What the fuck is going on? What is this? You can select what you I guess you can go with the hammer. Wang. Alright. Cool game. I, I, I kinda like it. It's it's really odd, but it's not bad. It's not bad actually. Boom 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 boom. They look like toenails with- with wings. Oh my god. Is there a worse pain in the world than a toenail pain? No. There isn't. Like, compare getting shot to, uh... Smashing your toenail into a wall. I'll take getting shot any day, man. Wide. This game is pretty cool, actually. I like it. It's- it's a little odd, but... You get all this different selections of guns, and it's it's pretty pretty cool. We got the like sputter shotgun. Yeah. 
fights. Like it. Anyway, let's move on. I'm going rapid fires with these games because they uh they don't offer much. I do know Galaga though, and I know milk and the nuts. Wait, wasn't Sky this in that other thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess these bootlayers are more competent. They can actually spell Sky Destroyer. The other one was called Sky the Story. Alright, let's see page 7 if we can find anything on it. Circus Chablit. Ninja. Oh man, th there's one game you guys have to see that I just love. It's called Yai Air Kung Fu or something like that. Yai Air. And it has some of the, the funniest fucking fighting I've ever seen. It's so terrible. Hang on. Where is it? Um, Kung Fu, here we go. If you think it was actually the game Kung Fu, then you're, you're wrong. Alright. I will say this, Tekken it is not. Alright, see when I do kicks like this, hang on. How do I do the kicks? There we go. Oh fuck, look at that! He actually smashes your, your, your karate bolts in, look at this. Before there was a Street Fighter, before there was any sort of fighting staple, this was what it was at, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh! Look at that smile. He knows he just murdered somebody and got away with it. Oh shit. Look at this. It's Tau. Isn't there like a a, a meal called ta Tau Tau Kung Tao? Uh, not Kung Pao, but Tau Soup or something like that. I don't know. Wait, hold wait a minute. Now, I don't want to jump to any conclusions here, but... Could it be? Could it be? Could this man be? Lee? No, he's just an Irish guy with no shirt on. That's called Lee. Tau. <laughs> he looks like a fat baby. Well, it's just... You know what? It's, 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 you know what it is? It's Bruce Lee's Irish ginger distant cousin. Lee O'Brien. The power of the spud. A fiddly dee potato. Me lucky charms. Alright. See that? A kick to the face, and he just takes it, man. This game is, is not that good, but it's 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 very... Uh, it's ambitious, and... It's... Charming, is, is the word, I guess. It, it tries really hard, and... I gotta give it credit for that. It's, it's not really that functionable, but... You know what? I, I like it. Oh damn it, come on. He, he sounds like a bird when he does it, like boo -boo! Boo -boo! Boo! Uh, oh, 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 almost got him, almost got him. Oh I think we're fighting like fat Asian carn over here. <laughs> Give this one more try. So I'm having way too much with fun with this. Alright, so, again, this little machine we're playing on is not a real NES, obviously. It is called one of those Fami clones, which is... Uh, oh shit, my headphones fell off! Oh man, I'm all paralyzed by that, my headphones. Alright, anyway, this thing came from an Asian uh, grocery store. Gro gro grocery, grocery, grocery store, comrade. Grocery store, and... Uh, let me tell you this, you know how much this was? Seven dollars. You know what? I will say this. 
pretty value for its price. You get a lot of games. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, I love that smell. Look at that. The little shit is drunk as hell. <laughs> oh, Chen! Holy shit. Uh, you wanna have a dance off like an Irish jig instead? Oh, fuck off, Chen. Oh shit. He's got like a bicycle, uh, bicycle, what do you call it? Uh, a bicycle chain that is swinging around. Swinging the chain, swinging the chain. Oh, where are this whole, this whole game is just a fucking, fucking, uh, Kung Pao reference. Shark Ripper! Wee wee! Alright, you're dead. He's Simon Belmont's Asian cousin. So I had two options. One, dodge the claw, roll sideways, and take him out with a spinning back kick. Or two, get hit in the face and die. Should have gone with A. Alright. Page 9, uh... The name is Betty, you son of a pig. You know what I re just realized? Betty from Kong Pao was just Asian Skeletor. <laughs> uh, let's try out... Door Door. That is the best creature I've ever seen. Look at that. You know what this thing reminds me of? It reminds me of that thing in in, in the Pikmin. The big toad fucker. Oh, that's music. That's what I call music part... Dwa. Alright. But... Isn't Betty a woman's name? This music is weird. Tiger, Tiger, Birdie, Birdie. Oh, chicken go cluck cluck, cow go moo. Piggy go. <laughs> what about you? Gotta be an animal just like you. Cuckoo, cuckoo. I'm just a birdie too. Oh, let me go. I don't know what the full thing, but. I'm too, I'm too distracted by this 3 FPS action. It's it's way too intense on my eyes here. The human eye can see past 3 FPS. Why do we need it? Maybe I gotta like slam him in the door. Like slam my foot in the door. That'll hurt. Oh, Taco Bell! Taco Bell! Product placement Taco Bell! Macho Burrito! Fuck. Na 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 na. Neo. Na 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 na. Spot. Oh, I, I gotta stop referencing this fucking movie. I have FPS gyrus. I only see an, one FPS. I see one frame per day. <laughs> it's like a like a big portrait of a, of a you know. I'm a world I, see. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, well, Jesus Christ, this game is driving me insane. Uh, let's play the final one. Quad challenge. Oh yeah. Battle Fox. Isn't that like a German bird? Isn't it like a football team that has that logo? I am a great magician! Your clothes are red! Spin to win, man. The evil counselor aliens, stinky pits and all, baby. All right, I'm sorry. You know when you've seen a movie too much, when you can see the movie in your own head without ever rewatching it. That's when you know. Okay, you gotta watch other movies once in a while. 
If you haven't seen uh, Kung Pao, it's a movie where they uh, take an old kung, uh, kung Fu movie and... Like a karate movie, but I mean, martial arts movie, there we go. And they just dub over it and make it totally different. It's, uh, it's great. Oh, that's that. Quad challenge, huh? I'll say this, uh, as we're getting closer to the end here, uh, this 101 games thing, it's, it's pretty legit. I mean, it has a lot of weird shit on it, but it's, generally, it's not that bad. It's, it's, I like it. You get a lot for your <laughs> quote-unquote money. Uh, it's, it's bootleg and it's pirated, but still, pony cat. Town. Oh. oh that's the music, too. Oh, fucking hell, what is this? The music to a, uh, to a, uh, I don't know what, a arson? I just imagine this, this fucker with a flamethrower going BURN! BURN! And this is playing in the background. Psycho music, man. Yeah, this is my money's worth, alright. You know when you have low standards, when you, you, you say that bootleg consoles have a good price on them? That's when you have low fucking standards. I guess I'm just comparing uh, the price here to shot like boot like on the scene, where like literally Mario is copy pasted five thousand times, shit like that, you know. Now, I see a lot of requests for this game called X Exus, which I don't know what is, but let's check it out. X Exus, remember that that song that was included in K Dust in San Andreas with K Rose? All oh, my exes live in Texas. Oh, that's music! Oh. The music of forgetting your credit card, or like, dropping your credit card and you can't find it, and you're, you're supposed to pay at a restaurant. This is the music of this, you're like, oh shit, where is it? The music to... Sleeping in, and you're supposed to have an app appointment, and you're like, oh shit. What wonderful music. I can't wait to come home after a day after work and just like sit down in my in my leather couch in my boxers at my fireplace have a cup of tea and just just snap my fingers to So relaxing. Is this power-ups? No, it's just a it's just a cross in the sky. How do I continue? Alright. Now, I've been thinking, I've been thinking a lot about this. Can we corrupt this? That's what, that's what's been on my mind for a while. And, listen. If this thing is in a cartridge, if I gently fuck with it, let's see what's happened. I have no idea what's gonna happen, so... Oh, Jesus Christ, this is really tender. Hang on. Okay. You okay there, buddy? Alright, let's switch around the console a little bit. See what happens. What's the worst thing that can happen, man? Hang on. Good god, this thing is fragile. I can barely touch it and it just it just shuts down. Very odd. Alright, let's try this again. No signal. You can barely touch this thing without it crashing, holy shit. Alright, alright. Don't break it now. Gently, gently, gently. Alright, here we go. 
Oh god, this is so tight. Uh. Okay, so it does react to me fucking with the cartridge a little bit. How about some spit on the cartridge slot? Alright. Control. Alright. Yeah, I want my seal of quality on this thing. Alright. Gently tug the cartridge a little bit. Oh god, it's so tight! Oh Jesus. Oh, okay. I I do like the fact that Jesus Christ has appeared in my game. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks. What the hell is going on? All right. Tug it down a little bit more. Oh, this thing is good. Hang on. Ew! It oh my god! Ew! You know what it smells like? Oh my! It smells like cherries and ass. Ew! It's like somebody ripped ass in this cartridge and just put like a scent of cherry. It smells like uh, Mountain Dew Code Red and like Mexican farts. What the fuck? All right. Get down there, you bastard. Get down there. Come on. This thing, this thing sits so Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Are you in? Shit, I think it's dead, Jim. Uh, game? <laughs> if the last thing I see is Jesus Christ, then I'm pretty satisfied. Alright, let me just put this down again. Blow on it again. Thank God this thing- Oh my God. Whenever I blow on it, I want to puke. I, I swear to God. Alright. Put it on. It's not doing anything at the moment, so... Um... I think I killed it. I think I killed it. No, you got you gotta be kidding me. Putting it on, it doesn't do anything. Alright. It's gotta be... Here's the problem, this thing sits so fucking tight... That, uh... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Get this. I smacked it a little bit, and it works. Hang on, let me just... Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Work with the power of Christ! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> if you smack it a little bit, the sound comes in. See, that's how you deal with technology. You gotta... You gotta be a little bit rough with this. You gotta teach it a lesson, man. A, a lesson in violence. See, you gotta discipline it. You can't, you, can't, you can't get too much. The more violent you are, the better results. Praise 8-Bit Jesus. Alright. Violence is the answer, right? Hang on. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm playing as Tetris, man. 
Oh my god, holy shit, that's funny. What, can I corrupt the menu too? Hang on. Oh. Let's play some games, man. I wanna play this one. Let's play some Contra, man. Alright. Can I actually play these? Wait, what the fuck? This works? I thought the game just died, but... Uh... It's not. Everything's good so far. Just, it's pixel oatmeal. Alright, let's fuck around a little bit more with it. I want to get get it halfway in. Halfway in. And see if this is going to work. Alright, we got the music. Let's play Contra. Let's see if we can get Contra to work. Oh, that is definitely Contra. It looks like a club turkey sandwich. Okay. <coughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Well, we're playing Contra on the Atari 2600. Praise Jesus, it works. <laughs> what the fuck, man? All right, cool. You gotta be, you gotta be joking with me. What is this? What is this? I can barely see Bill, but. Jesus hell! Welcome to Destiny. How is this working? This should not be working. Have you played Atari today? <laughs> I have made the most amazing thing. You know what? I want to play until we get to like. You know what? We should do? we should beat the game? We should beat the game in this like piss setting. Sound is fine. Graphics not so fine. I can vaguely make out the shapes. Alright. Somebody keeps flicking the switch too. How is this still running? The cartridge isn't even in. Uh, it is in, but I've just like slanted it. Alright. Can't see shit now, man. Alright. Alright, hang on. They call it the 8-bit Nintendo, now we're playing it on 1-bit. Alright. Where's the boss? Should've done the fucking, uh, uh, Contra code on this. See, I can't tell if it's a platform or, like, a pit of death. I really have to go with, with... Hang on, whoa. There's a big L in the screen. I don't know what I'm actually flipping down on here. Hang on. Don't know if it's a level that's actually this, or it, it, wh where am I? I don't have a reference. Is this the boss? Maybe it's the boss, maybe. Yeah, it's the boss, it's the boss, that's where it is. I don't know if I'm hitting him or not, that's the thing. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's one down, I think. That's gonna be real easy when I don't see anything. Oh my god. Christ almighty. Can, we, can I get some graphics, please? I'm gonna lose my 30 lives on the first fucking level, man. Uh, okay. I'm playing as the Dr. Mario pill right now, and it's... 
This sure helps. Uh, it looks like somebody put black pepper in my game, though, but alright, cool. What the fuck is this now? What is this? I like the graphics. The graphics are tremendous. It sure makes e fucking avoiding shit really easy. Coctra. Okay, so- wow, the text is- okay. Wait, what the fuck? How is this back to normal? I'll see about that, sir. Hang on. Eh. Yeah, get in there. Yeah. Yeah, get in there. Ooh. 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 <laughs> All right. It unfucked itself. All right. All right. A little bit more. Slam it down a little bit more. Invisible co uh, contract, I guess we're gonna play. Hey, it's back to this. This Contra, is that you? Hey, we're back. We're back to Atari Contra again. I, I replicated this thing. To play this, you basically have to play a Contra cartridge on the side a little bit, and uh, that—that's it. Jesus fuck! This is self-aware. All right. The weird thing is that it, it, it's the same effect twice. Hang on, okay, let's, let's fuck around with this a little bit more. A little bit more. Oh, that's the effect I wanted, though. Ugh. I'm creating Skynet, man. Alright, try this again. Alright, alright. Matter of fact, maybe have this in my hands as I'm doing it. More. This is so tight to squeeze that. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. Let's tr try something else. Let's try, uh... Let's try out, uh... You know what? Let's do Pac-Man. Let's do Pac-Man, man. Where's Pac-Man anyway? We can do Bomberman. You know what? Let's do Bomberman. I love Bomberman. Alright, maybe if they use me as the first Terminator. The most incompetent Terminator ever. He sees a little bit of pineapple and he shits himself and kills everything. Alright. Alright, alright. Oh. Okay. Bomberman works bad. Yeah, it's, it's hard to corrupt that one. Try that again. Bomberman. Here we go. Huh. That's certainly one thing I've never seen before. Isn't that a flag somewhere? White and yellow? Alright. Oh, it's on the side here. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey. Hey, now. That's not- that's not a good sound. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Green. Black. Green, green, green. One more time. Well, what is going on? Well, if I tilt the console, I get different colors, man. It's like a rave show. Well, if any 
any any uh, dictators wanna if you're watching my stream Kim Jong Il or Kim Jong Un or whatever you're running uh, got your new flag here man got your new flag right here there you go give me some uh, some Korean barbecue in return epilepsy simulator. Alright, try this one more time. I wonder how dirty I can get this cartridge. What if I, like, put it in fucking sand? Oh, that, this is new. This is definitely new. Huh. Alright, alright. Kim Jong. I think I killed it. Oh, no, there you go. Alright, let's fuck up infant school, though. That game is already fucked up. Here we go. Oh, I can barely do anything to it. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is this? Well, if this game is all about getting on fire, I guess that that's what happens, man. All right. Try this again. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, play the game. Infant school. That's right. Oh my god, what is that? Yeah, what the fuck, man? What the fuck is that? Was it not your sin trapped the unicorn? Even now, the evil seed of what you have done germinates within you. Thanks. All right, that's gonna be it for me tonight. With uh, with uh, um <laughs> with this this family clone bullshit. Uh, I like it. Uh, better better. Uh, uh, probably the best. There is something wrong with Teddy. There is something wrong with Teddy. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for me tonight. Hope you liked uh, the bootleg stuff. Definitely gonna do more of this in the future. Uh, I want to give a shout out to to one of our moderators uh, called Bacon Guden. Uh, Bacon Guden was nice enough to provide me with this thing, and uh, he was the one who found it at our local Asian store. So uh, yeah, if you want to go follow him on Twitter, it's just at Bacon Guden in caps, which is just Bacon G U D E N, Bacon Guden, which would be in Americano. So that's gonna be it for me tonight. Uh, hope you liked it. Let's go check out some of the art. It's gonna be a little hard to check out the art because both Vinny and I streamed at the same time, so... I'm just gonna have to squint as we're doing this, I guess. Alright, so... But, uh, let me see, just see if I missed any art from... Uh, yesterday. Let's see... Uh, I think I did. I think I did. From... Uh, Drowning in tea. It's it's Ness Paula and uh, or more rather Ness me and the bear. Hi. <laughs> That's very cool. From kangaroo. It's it's me as Ness. 
swinging my baseball bat around. It's very, very fucking cool. Very nice. From uh, Queer Giraffe. <laughs> it's it's a painted version of my face. This is uh, quite amazing, actually. It's it's tight. This is pretty fucking cool. Very nicely done. Uh, wow. What else can I say? But this is seriously amazing. Damn. Really nicely done. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Uh, seriously, wow. From S draw protection with Kleiner as uh, Norton. I didn't even know that was Norton. Uh, What's his name? The real Norton. Yeah, you can't even have that as a Twitch emoticon because I got a message about this saying you can't have this. You can't have his face. You can't have. What is he? Bill Norton or whatever his name is. Anyway, from S draw, it's is that a three D Kermit? Good God, <laughs> I like that a lot. From Fan Dordy, it's a little what is it like? Uh, uh, I don't know what material this is, but it's very cool. It's a little vine mushroom, I guess. Pretty tight. From Multi Mister Bacon, Mister Raphael, Doctor Twelve Gauge, we'll see you now. Yeah, that fucking mouth is terrifying. From uh, Greenworth, oh man, look at this. Got your bunch of skeletons. Fucking awesome. Look at this. It's Nito. It's, it's, is that, like, Dwayne? I don't know, no, it's, it's like me, man. That's Skeletor, obviously. Oh, it's me, it is me, okay, and that's the uh, Vark Skeletor mushroom. That's really fucking cool, man. Fuck yeah, Skeletons, that's awesome. That's fucking tight, man. Thanks, you, thanks, Greenworth, that is, that is tight. Uh, from C, Thematic Thursday, yeah. Thursday has no real theme to it, maybe it should have. <laughs> I like that. From, uh, uh, let's see, uh, Dwayne Bone? There's no need to be upset. Is that a, is that, that, is that, is that, oh shit, it is, it is, it's Rave Lord Nido and Dwayne Skeleton. Well, holy shit, man, but Greenworth did it again. That is amazing. From Buddy with Gilius, uh, Skeleton. Can hold guns. I guess they can. Can they be shot though? That's up to you. For Froyu, it's <laughs> it's me as Captain Falcon and Vinny as Pip. <laughs> that's that's fucking amazing. Holy crap. <laughs> Very nicely done. From uh, from Chowder 908, Turtle Fighters, kill me please. <laughs> Bootleg toys cracked me up. From Crackman, oh, I mean Cray, Crayman. I'm sorry, I had too much crack today. From uh, yeah, there you go. Power Platypus, first edition. Yeah, Power Platypus needs to be a comic, or no, it really shouldn't. From Frango Dango, Dino Wright movement. <laughs> Amazing pixel art. I was talking about Dino Wrights, like in the Flintstones. Like, why are the dinosaurs treated so badly? Their toilets and like sinks and all that shit. Like, give them some rights, man. Give them, give them homes. They need to sleep too. No, no, no I don't know. <laughs> That's amazing. From Ask You All, Power Platypus. There you have, there you have him. Power Platypus, man. Power Platypus. <laughs> it's fucking amazing. From uh, Nivu Jolkheim. Oh my god, is that is that uh, Kakyoin? Bro, I feel so euphoric. Hierophant Green. If you if you if your stand would smoke a joint, would you also get high? I guess so. Huh. Anyway, from Boxstar, <laughs> that's really good, by the way. Thank you. From Boxstar. Oh, dude, check this out. I love this. Check this out. It's one of those like uh, I know exactly what material this is. I don't know the name of it. This is more like little rings you compose into like stuff. Really cool. It's a Mr. Saturn, a Vork Skelter Mushroom, Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. Pooh. That's very nice of done. Thank you so much. That is that is tight. Very nicely done. Uh, and from uh, Smug Puggle. <laughs> no ghost jobs today. Yeah, get out of here, ghost. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. From Sager Kujin, or Kijin, I'm sorry. I don't understand my life. Dio, Joel, Satan, I am pussy, ass, Dwayne. What is going on here? What is going on here? <laughs> I guess it's me, uh, you know, being covered with uh, 
with bootleg games. Uh, ETXXX Terrorism. Damn pigs. Yeah, I gotta I gotta play Mod Three one day, man. It's such a good game. From Cat and Dog Lover eighty nine. What what is this? I'm sorry, I couldn't save you. What what's going on here? What is going on here? What? What? Why am I dead in Vinny's arms? Who's responsible for this? What the fuck? <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> From Frango Dango, I'm coming for you. Please, Arnold, stop. Oh my god, that is that is great. His fucking his fucking his fucking face is just so good. Nicely work. This nicely work. And that's how you know I'm tired when I start like Englishing so bad. <laughs> but that's that's really cool. From Shark Bits, it's wow. Well, check this out. It's a little version of me in a in a literal vine sauce jar, I guess. Very nice. Check that out. That is that is gorgeous. Damn, <laughs> I like that a lot. Wow, that is super cool. Thank you so much, man. Or woman, or man, or I don't know. But regardless, this is really nice. We don't. Thank you so much. From Toast Logic, it's that bird ghost thing with the giant mouth. I don't know what you want to call it, but there you go. From Kiwi, it baby cube. Please help. Well, I'm glad you all figured out what I was talking about, because I was getting lost. I don't know what else... Sometimes I have to do visual art, like I have to paint things to make make it clear what I'm trying to trying to say. When words fail, paint fills in the blanks, as they say, but that's... <laughs> that's a baby cube. From real men wear tights. Oh, no. Yeah, that's... that's that, I can summarize the music tonight with, with just that. Good God. From C. <laughs> it's me with a bunch of bootlegs in the background. Just, just I have a thousand yard stare. I've been torn apart by the bootlegs, man. That's really nicely done. I look so tired. I just want to die. That's amazing. From Wov. It's a little version of me with and Skeletor. I like that a lot. That's that's very cool. <laughs> wow. From Fox. Nintendo Power, as there you go. Why is the why, the Vark Skeletor mushroom has like, you know, a little toothpaste on his on his teeth? Actually, you the, some people say that that the icon has toothpaste on his teeth because like a little blue tint to it. I wasn't that was intentional, but there you go. From Fox, Winston tastes good like cancer should. There you go. From some guy named Tom, it's the Wang thing. Uh, the bootleg, uh, I don't know if it's a bootleg or not, maybe it's just a Famicom game they crammed in, but... The spaceship, Wang, there you go. <laughs> From B-Fox, Atari Contra. It's an... Antro gun? Ant, 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 antro. Anti-gun, I, I don't know. Atari Contra, there you go. You're running around as a fucking gun and blasting shit. And that's, that's what life should be about. From Cerberus Alpha, it's my baby. Beautifully il illustrated by somebody that can actually draw, and... <laughs> Amazing. Uh, from Blankface, Lee Mac MacDonald, Smegmost Toast Ghost. That is names. That is definitely names, man. <laughs> from Real Man Wear Thighs, or Tights, rather. Uh, it's, it's me. And my arms are chopped off. I have some. I have some fucking luscious arms, and luscious arms. That's definitely what I want to say. <laughs> I like that. From uh, Kangaroo Metal Band, it's me. Done in a little cool pixel art style. I like that a lot. It's pretty, pretty tight. Very unique art style. It's very stands out. It's it's cool. I don't know how this is done. I guess it's paint or something. But it's it's very very nicely done. Thanks. From Boobies. This cartridge smells like cherry ass. The boot, poot, the booty. It really does smell like like cherry and, and ass. It's sometimes you just can't put it into words. You gotta smell to know like, oh, that's what you meant. I don't know what else to put it, but it does really smell bad. 
but uh, <laughs> there you go. Thanks. From Benacris, it is. It is. Yeah, there you go. Th that's the one I mean. That's the one I mean. Look at that. It's missing. It's missing the little holes where you stick in your arms, though, but generally, yeah. There you go. And. <laughs> there's my baby. Pick it in. <laughs> there you go. From cow with arms, butt butt. Yeah, that that's the proper version I want to illustrate on, on the stream. But I guess they didn't do it right. Interactive learning, butt. Free activity, butt. In quote, all right, you get an F minus for this. <laughs> Great work. From Greenworth. Release me, large human. It looks a little bit like Buddha. I don't know if this was intentional or not, but I, I guess his little uh, pelvis has a face. I see a face in this. I don't know if you see the face, but I see a I see a face with a nose. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm I I used to have problems. I don't know. From blank face, super happy sixty nine in four twenty very lots joy. It's a boot leg. You clever fucker. You clever fucker. Well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> what can I say except, uh... There you go. There you go. Uh, I missed some more. This is from Bullet Hell. It's the baby. Looking beautiful as always. <laughs> from Panapana. Panna. Uh, tastes good. Like a cigarette should. Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. From King Giantess. Is it a mouth or a nose? To be honest, I don't know. I don't know either, man. You just gotta... You just gotta figure shit out sometimes. From Joni010. You have... You have to come every day. Get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is tagged as me. I don't really know why, but... I'll show it anyway. It's... It's Sugoi Obama. I don't know if you draw, drew this or not, but... It is an inevitable fact of life that it exists, and we just we just have to accept that sometime. From Piscis, Winston's this bitch. <laughs> that's that's simply incredible. And uh, yeah, I guess that concludes tonight's stream of the bootleg uh, stuff. I don't know exactly what else to end it on, but oh, there's one piece of art left from uh, Bullet Hell, Joel. It's 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 that guy. It's like I don't know who Joel is though. My name is Steve, obviously. <laughs> That's very nice, very nicely done. Really cool, really really cool. And there's one piece of art left from Panana Panna Panna. Iron China together in Kung Pao. I'm way too tired after art. Faces like this makes me tired too. Tired of life. <laughs> oh man, long stream tonight. Hope you hope you enjoy the bootleg stuff. I will do more of this later on, but yeah, I'm really sleepy right now. So I'm gonna go go to bed right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow with stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you t tomorrow, I suppose. So uh, yeah, take care, and uh, if you're if you're in my time zone, get the fuck to sleep. <laughs> Think of bootlegs. Dream of bootlegs. All right, guys, I'll catch you around. Thanks for watching.